Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Today I'm going to be going over the restoration work that is happening in the ballroom of the John Brown House. This room was originally designed to host guests. Over the last century, it has been modified to best suit the family occupying the home. Partition walls and closets were built, leaving us with what is here today. The homestead's plan is to return the space back to its original state. That way we can use it as a ballroom again. This partition wall will be removed in three parts, using bracing stabilization to ensure the lath and plaster does not crumble. So unfortunately, most of the wallpaper that is in this room is on this particular wall. So this is why we want to remove it and conserve what we can. There are an astonishing 12 layers of wallpaper remaining on the walls of this room. This is very unique for a 19th century home in Canada. Due to the trend of wallpaper falling out during the 90s and 2000s, most houses stripped all layers of wallpaper. When the John Brown house was being restored, this room was one of the only rooms that remained untouched. So although this room might not be in the same state as the rest of the house, we are very grateful for this, for the layers that are left. With any project that involves removal of historic materials, it is extremely important that you properly document the object's original location. We chose to do this digitally by photographing the entire wall. I've created a graphic that will show where each layer is visible. So due to the condition of the wall, we are assuming that we'll be able to remove a good sized fragment of each layer. That way we will have a good example of each pattern that is on the wallpaper now. Um, in cases of light deterioration, you might actually lose the pattern design. So we are going to digitalize them by scanning the fragments and that way we will have a preserved copy forever. With the hope that the removal of this partition wall is successful, we plan on having it on display in the interpretive center in the future. Our plan is to have a display of the wallpaper layer fragments with historic interpretation right on the wall. There will be a long frame with the fragments in order of application. This way people will be able to draw the connection without assuming its original location. In preparation for wallpaper removal, we removed a shelf for better access to the corner of the wall. We expose a wallpaper design that we haven't seen before, which leads us to believe that there may be some designs that we have yet to discover, buried under or between the 12 layers. Here I am using a wallpaper removal steamer and scraper to carefully loosen the adhesive. We chose to start in this corner because this part of the wall will not be removed in the partition wall takedown. We're one step closer to turning this vision into reality. Thanks for watching.